What's up, everybody? It's Zach here from Tampa. You are watching the Almost Daily Vlog starring Mr. Fomer Simpson and Young Buckets because anything else would be uncivilized. Nice. Hell of an entrance. So Nike sent us something very, very, very cool. We are going to dive into that shortly. But first, got to head to the post office. My beloved skunks. Favorite Nike SB of all time. And they just sold. So we're going to package these up really quick, ship them out, come back here, and I will show you what Nike sent. It is super, super dope. If you enjoy the video, by the way, hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. Let's us reach future viewers. It also lets us know what you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe. We've been doing a brand new video almost every single day. The almost daily vlog. Let's keep building. You don't want to miss anything. Time to go. Well, let me get one last look at them. Okay. Let's do it. Hundred and seven degrees. No bueno. No bueno, Florida. No bueno. Like a glove. Shut up. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Back to the bat cave. Nike, thank you. So I have here in this box a pair of sneakers that I really, really wanted. This is the Vapor Max. If you have been following the channel a little bit, you know how I feel about the Vapor Max. I love the sneaker. I really like how kind of futuristic and kind of techy it looks. And I also love the comfort on them. So with that said, this is a pair from Nike. They just randomly hit me up and said that they had a pair of VaporMax on the way. They didn't say which pair. I took a little peekaroo. Ooh, sneaky boy. I took a little peekaroo yesterday. We wanted to do this video yesterday, but then we had the whole stolen Yeezys thing. And it was just, yesterday was not a great day. We wipe our hands of it. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Exactly. With that said, drum roll, please. Yeah, boy. Bang, bang. The Nike Vapor Max ID for Air Max Day, right? Yeah. That's what these are. This sneaker, if you watched our Vapor Max and Ultra Boost comparison, then you remember me mentioning this. Sneaker as my favorite colorway. I think I saw Ronnie Fide post a picture of these on Instagram, like maybe a week before they came out, or I forget what it was, but I was like, whoa, those are fire. You know how I feel about kind of the, the multicolor. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of it. And man, it's the, the, these are great. These are really great. You got the Air Max Day date on the tongue, March 26th, of course. Nike ID on the insole. You got March 26th on the other one. Just really, really nice. I get that this look is a little too bold for some people. Just the silhouette of the Vapor Max. I've had some people on Twitter say they don't like the, basically, the Vapor Max. Yeah. They don't like the outsole of it 
for me personally, that's what I love most about yeah. it. I love that it's not like everything else. I love that it looks like something crazy futuristic and something new, you know? It's not... It's easy, especially for a company like Nike, to just, they've been doing it for so long, yeah. to just cycle through and cycle through and cycle through, and that works. To innovate and to give us something like this, I really, really dig it. And I think that it's going to be a little more widely accepted as a dope look down the line yeah, a little bit. Absolutely. You know, that's kind of, that's the case a lot of times with a new model or a new silhouette. Yeah. I'm crazy about these. You know, I had to... Let the skunks go today. You know, my favorite Nike SB of all time. The start of our YouTube channel. Yep. So there was some sentimental attachment there as well. So the skunks are out and these are in. You know, and the reason why I keep mentioning it is because this is the almost daily vlog. So we talk about and do the things that we always do. You know, me and you talked about that when we started this almost daily vlog. We didn't want it to be one of those things where... We had to be at, a, at an event to yeah. make the content cool. Yeah. Or we had to be traveling to a new city to make the content cool. Sure, if we do those things, we're going to bring you all along. But for us, it's about doing whatever it is we're doing. If it's basketball, we're going to do that. If it's traveling, we're going to do that. If it's sitting right here talking about a sneaker we got, we're going to do that. If it's selling all the sneakers that I've accumulated, we're going to do that. And so... That's been, I mean, when you think about our daily activities, the selling of the collection over the past couple of weeks has been a huge part of our daily time. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's not easy to sell sneakers and to, especially the worn sneakers and to have to go through them all and get prices and buyers and get on the same page and ship them out and everything. So I say all that to say that during these last couple of weeks, these last few weeks that I've been selling all my sneakers, I haven't really been buying that many yeah but this is definitely a pair that i'm going to hang on to for the foreseeable future and i'm going to wear maybe now you wear the gray ones because you like them a lot too yeah you wear the gray ones and, and i can wear these you know instead we had kind of almost it had turned into almost a sharing the vapor max because we both like yeah. them you know that's one of the advantages to living with your brother and to both wearing a size 13 so that's really it I don't have too much to say about them. You guys can see the colorway. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the VaporMax. Even if you don't like the VaporMax, let me know how you feel about the multi-color colorway. I love it. I love it on the racer. I love it on these. I love it on Air Max. I just it's think good. it's cool. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. Especially, I think, in the summertime. Yeah. Thank you for sending these my way. Really, really appreciate it. These are 38 fire emojis without question. So I think that's pretty much it. We have a couple other things, but I don't want to try to cram them into this video. We had some people send some really cool stuff to the P.O. box. Oh, we have those other sneakers, yeah, too. Oof. We, we, got, we got a lot of stuff to show. I don't like cramming it all into one video because then stuff feels rushed a little yeah. bit. Is there anything else? Oh, your hats. My hats. I got two new hats. I'll bring it back. Two new hats. Yes. I could have broke it out and put it on before we turn the camera on, but I felt like it was only right to break them out on camera. So, regular Yankee hat, standard. For those of you who ask, I go through a, a Yankee hat, like, I don't know, what do you think, like every every four months or so? Yeah. This will turn into like a beater hat, so to speak, if it's like pouring rain or if I'm, you know, working out or whatever the case is. So I always keep a couple beater hats on deck, fresh one on deck, and I could not pass. I don't always buy them two at a time, but Derek Jeter. Peep that. It was just Jeter Day, obviously, so they released a special Yankee hat. I had the old one when he retired. You know, instead of just having the, the badge on the side, it's got Jeter with his, you know, uh, tipping his cap to the fans. Respect. Got to take these stickers off. I'm, I'm not a guy who, who uh, likes the sticker on my hat. I know some people do. but So just another Navy Yankee fitted. Uh, which you can never have too many of. And then, of course, what makes it not regular? Derek Jeter. El Capitone. El Capitone. On the side. It ain't the same without him. Having a great year, but it's not the same without him. So, that's what we got for today. Be right back here tomorrow. The almost daily vlog. Buckets has nothing. Man, a few words. I got nothing. Oh, you put your shoe down. Oh, this is your shoe. No, no, my shoe's here. Oh, okay. You ready? I'll put it down because you're talking about the hats. Oh, the hats. You ready? Yeah. We're out of here.